Okay, well, let's see how you did. <laughs> We're having fun here at the studio, and we hope that you're having fun playing at home. So what would I do? I'm looking for sort of an inside and outside. I'm looking for sort of a, a big blop that I could call that function g, because the g function is really the function that I, the thing I do first here. And if you notice, really there's a function here, namely just something squared, something squared. So in fact, that's going to be the outside function. So that's the f. So it seems to me, here's my thinking. Let's let f of x equal x squared. That's the outside function. And then the inside function, that's the thing I have to do first, well, that should be the stuff that's on the inside. So g of x equal 6x minus 2. Let's check our answer. And let's see if it's really the case that f composed with g of x equals this answer. What do I do? Well, I first take g of x, and so that's this, and I plug that in. I plug that in to f. So when I take this, and plug that in to here, what do I see? I see in placing x, I put in g of x. So that's 6x minus 2. So I see 6x minus 2 all squared. Let's just see that in one, in just a teeny bit more detail. What I would see is the following. I would see this equals f of, and then g is 6x minus 2. And then what do I do? Wherever I see an x in the f, I just replace it by this. And so that would actually equal exactly 6x minus 2 squared. And that's exactly what was posed to us. So you may be saying, aha, the answer is f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 6x minus 2. But actually, that would be wrong because you have to put your answer in terms of a question. So the correct answer is, what is f of x equals x squared, and g of x equals 6x minus 2. And that's the answer. OK, well, it's time for Final Jeopardy. See how quickly the show goes? It's like you've been here to seconds, and yet it's Final Jeopardy. It goes fast with your math. Here we go, the big question for $1,000. Bling! Two times the quantity 4x. Oh, and there's a typo here, folks. It's OK. I can fix it live on the air. Let's start again. For $1,000, the answer is 2 times the quantity 4x minus 1, all cubed, minus the quantity 4x minus 1, plus 3. Good luck. <laughs>